Excuse me, miss. You look like you could use this. It's my own ginger blend for a bit of a pick-me-up after a late night. Ugh! Late night? I'm sorry, I don't- Trust me, mom. I know that look. Ah, Alvin. There you are. I got completely lost in this building. Everything looks so... British here. Indeed, Master Bryce. Wait, Wayne Bryce? The multi-millionaire American playboy and philanthropist Wayne Bryce? Well, I see my reputation precedes me. Even here, across the pond, as you say. Of course! I'm a huge fan of your city's connection with the masked hero, the Night Knight. Sadly, my dear, the Night Knight is nothing but an urban myth. No matter how dashing and daring his exploits tickle our fancy, and intrigue our imaginations. But the evidence? Yes, General? Oh, he's right here. Yes, right away, General. The General wishes to speak to you in the conference room. Then we must away to the conference room. Yeah, sure, it's this way. Why, Wayne Bryce, as I live and breathe. <laughs> Fiona, would you get our guest here a touch of brandy? No, thank you, General. There will be plenty of time for that later. For now, I'll just take a tea, drizzle of honey, half a teaspoon of almond milk, and just a bit of fresh lavender. I'll have to see what we have in the cupboard. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't speaking to you. I was speaking to Alvin. Already on it, sir. Can I get you anything? It's really no bother for Alvin. No, thank you. He seems like he's already plenty busy. General, maybe it's time we should get down to business? Quite right, young lady. If only you could get rich as an assistant, eh? I have been meaning to speak to you about my pay. Okay, okay, enough jokes. Mr. Bryce is here to discuss a private security venture for his gala tonight. But we don't do private security for- The gala I'm throwing is in honor of my arrival in this country. I have rented out the Royal Albert Hall for the night. Only the cream de la cream will be there. Only the finest protection for the finest in Britain, am I right? Ha! <laughs> you and the General are, of course, welcome to attend. I don't think I can. I have prior plans that I would... Listen, my dear. That man could finance our entire department and not put a dent in his bank account. Don't offend him by turning down his invitation. Plans that I would love to change and come to your gala, Mr. Bryce. 
Splendid. Let's leave Fiona and Alvin to iron out the details while you and I go and find that brandy you were speaking about earlier. Why, yes, of course. This way, my boy. Excuse you. I apologize, Mum. I was just taking your measurements. As a thank you to all of his guests, Mr. Bryce always gives them a new outfit of their choosing, free of charge. That's an incredibly forward thing to do for someone you just met. Also, say the word and I'll trip him next time he walks by. I appreciate the concern, my dear, but I'm all right. Always work to be done. Now, about your shoe size. Do you not even get these nights off? Actually, my dear, I'm here as a guest. Can't you tell by my wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your revelry, Alvin. You're needed in the wine cellar. These butterfingers broke three bottles of that old Massandra sherry from 17-something. Was it worth a lot? Priceless, sir. I shall attend to it. <sighs> wonderful. And speaking of wonderful, it is truly wonderful to see you again, Fiona. Would you care to join me for a dance? I think I better not. Turn this once in a lifetime offer down. Let him live. Listen, I've had dealings with this sort before, and they're not the kind to take things lightly. We have to get you out of here. Yeah, I'm quite familiar with this type, but there are too many innocent bystanders around. I, I have, have a plan. plan. Stay, Stay here. here. It'll, It'll all, all be, be over, over shortly. shortly. Dr. D? Fiona Fetal, your bravado doesn't scare me. That's on the other hand! 
I swear by my shield I shall defend the weak from harm. I pledge by my sword to avenge the innocent from the cruel. By the sun's rise, justice will be done, for I am the Night Knight. The Night Knight? I knew he was real. Hark, evildoer, your time is nigh. Oh, Yanks, so loud, in every way. Thou doth criminal enterprise is interrupted by I, the Night Knight. Is this for real? And I, his loyal partner, the Silver Squire. Leave these innocent socialites alone, villain. Innocent? This is the upper crust, you masked moron! But everyone here has committed at least a little bit of tax fraud. Your mind games won't work on me, Dr. Devastation. We've dealt with plenty of tough customers in our day. What makes you think you'll be any different? Because, you dynamic dopes, I have one of these! That was well struck, lovely lady I've never met before. Well, when you're not focusing on making the sound effects, they land a lot cleaner. <laughs> See? Well, that's a couple million in training down the drain. So you're well off then, Nighty Knight. Oh well, I have the entire Bryce fortune nitly backing me. Wallace Bryce is a good friend. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, he's the best. You should think about going out with him sometime. But first, let's take care of these rough-edged ruffians. You fiend! Release him this very minute or taste my wrath! It appears your friend is on the razor's edge! Now! Turn over, Wayne Bryce! Really? You don't see it? See what? All I see is one doomed psychic if I don't get Wayne Bryce right now! Really, I don't see any sidekick. What? Maybe keep that leg down, Squire, for modesty's sake. You've lost, Dr. D. Give up. Why should I? After all. I've got you all right where I want you. Next time, my wholesome heroes! Next time, you shall beg for mercy! Ow! Come, let's give chase. I think he got... <gasps> Away. We can't give up now. You know, maybe we should call it for the night. Dr. D's like a mouse in the cupboard, that one. He'll be gnawing at something else soon enough. But you'll be back in America, Mr. Bryce. What? It's fine, Wayne. I know how to keep a secret. Is there anything I can do to thank you? 